Miss Smiley from the Maths Department. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information regarding home learning this half term. So obviously in maths, you'll know that the curriculum is planned so that we aim to cover all of the topics in the GCSE specification by the end of the summer term. And the curriculum spirals so that we meet the topic each time at a higher level. So obviously we've planned around um, students meeting topics again and again and again. And each time we build on prior learning. So the school has invested in revision guides and workbooks that are specifically designed to match our exam board and those all should have been couriered out to you. The plan is that we're going to utilise them through this time in lockdown and then obviously utilise them throughout year 11 for their revision and preparation for their GCSE. So the revision guide and the workbook work hand in hand. So the page numbers are similar and you'll have in the revision guide ideas, um, worked examples, things like that. So you can test in a similar way to they do with the knowledge organisers that they've met lower down the school. The workbook is simply a set of questions so that they can practice and they get more difficult as they go down the page as opposed to through the book. Similarly, then, if you look at the indices, you've got some um, facts that they need to learn. They can cover those up. They can self quiz. They can have a little try at some of the GCSE style questions at the bottom and the workbook. Exactly the same page, but they go hand in hand. And obviously they can either close their revision guide and test themselves or they can use the workbook. Or they can use the workbook um, and the revision guide side by side to, to work their way through things. I'll be setting the work for the higher tier students and Miss Hawker will be setting the work for the foundation students. We've also secured the use of Hegarty Maths, which is an award winning online math site for this period up until the um, summer holidays. And we'll set work on that for the remainder of the term. So I have got a timeline for you, um, which I'll come to in a couple of moments. But to gain access, they simply need to log in. So click student login. They find John Wilmot. So if they literally just start typing, it should come up. And if you click on that, it'll ask for their first name, their last name, and they can choose their own login. I've popped in there the math student's email. So obviously if you have any issues logging in or any of the work or anything like that, then obviously we can um, we can address those issues if you just drop us a quick email. This is the timeline. OK, so over the time and obviously we've got the master classes interleaved in here. So the master classes are on the 29th of June and the 6th of July. Those are time in school. Um, so, again, if you've brought any work with you, uh, you obviously won't be bringing work with you from home. But if you've got any queries about the work that you've been doing, then obviously we can address those then or. Um, obviously, like I say, send us an email. Feedback can be given online. OK, feedback can be given online for the Hegarty, but also we've got that email address as well. And the platform is compatible with mobile phones. So if you, you don't need a laptop or an iPad or a tablet or anything like that, you can actually access the Hegarty um, work and revision videos and support online on, on your mobile phones. Year 11 was always intended to be um, revision and catch up and exam preparation and all the rest of it. And the students are used to going through a content. Uh, a question level analysis. So each time they do an assessment, they see what they did right, what they did wrong, what they need to work on. And we tend to plan kind of a half term of activities then based around those skills and building up those skills and closing those gaps. This is one that we had for my year 11 group last year. And then obviously we repeat that process then with another assessment, practice paper, exam paper, calculator, non-calculator, and make sure that we plug all of those gaps on a continuous cycle throughout year 11. So the main thing to tell you is please don't worry. Uh, we're not worried about um, catching up, recovery, all of those kind of things, because we're confident that our students have worked hard for all of the time that they've been with us. Um, so year 11 will be about catching up, uh, getting ready for the exams and closing those gaps. But obviously, if you do have any questions or concerns, please get in touch with us. Take care. Stay safe and I hope to see some of you soon.